Welcome to the Computer Science Standards webinar. Computer knowledge and skills are increasingly becoming recognized as foundational for an educated citizenry. Therefore, it is becoming increasingly more important that all students have access to high quality computer science education. Understanding the importance of computer science education, the Connecticut State Department of Education has made computer science a priority in recent years. The push to expand computer science education in Connecticut began in 2014 with the formation of a computer science advisory group. This group's primary responsibility was to draft the computer science position statement that was adopted by the board in 2016. This document has been a driving force in the continued efforts to expand computer science education. The position statement document outlines beliefs and guidelines about computer science education to ensure the changing needs of the workplace, technology, and global economy are met. Specifically, it speaks to developing computational thinking, which is characterized by logical ordering and analyzing data and creating solutions using a series of ordered steps. These are fundamental skills that are necessary to become college and career ready in today's world, and therefore, efforts to provide a comprehensive computer science education to all students must be increased. This is not something that can be accomplished in isolation. All stakeholders have a responsibility to the children in our state. It is for this reason that the position statement outlines specific responsibilities for various groups of stakeholders. Within the position statement, specific responsibilities of the Connecticut State Department of Education were cited. The work at the agency has and continues to address these responsibilities. Specifically, computer science standards were adopted in June 2018. Opportunities for professional learning in the area of computer science is disseminated via listservs out of the academic office, and the agency engages collaboratively with computer science professionals both within Connecticut and nationally. We can't do this work alone. School districts are our partners in ensuring that all students in Connecticut receive a high quality computer science education. This can be accomplished by allocating instructional time to computer science and offering a continuum of computer science experiences from elementary school to high school. Computer science has not just been a focus at the state level. Computer science has gained national attention in recent years, and in 2016, the Association for Computing Machinery, Code.org, the Computer Science Teachers Association, the Cyber Innovation Center, and the National Math and Science Initiative collaborated with states, districts, and the computer science education community to develop conceptual guidelines for computer science education. The K-12 computer science framework was not an independent effort. The final framework was the result of input from a variety of stakeholders. The 27 writers represented a range of states, districts, industry partners, and other interested organizations. The framework was developed with a vision for computer science education. Through a strong foundation in computer science, students will not only be prepared to live in the digital world, they will have the capacity to create future technologies. They will understand the impact that computing has on not only a specific field, but on a society as a whole. The framework articulates five core concepts related to computer science. While the order of the five concept areas do not prescribe an instructional order, they are arranged to illustrate the movement from the physical reality of computer science to the societal impact. Each successive layer gets more abstract. In addition to the core concepts, seven practices are identified. The concepts and practices fit together to create meaningful computer science experiences for students. Although computer science is an independent discipline, there is overlap, particularly in the areas of science and engineering and math. This graphic highlights the connections with computer science and the math practices found in the Connecticut Core Standards, computer science and the practices noted in the Next Generation Science Standards, 
and ultimately how all three relate to each other. There is a distinct difference between a framework and standards. In very simple terms, a framework is a general guideline that provides a basic structure, while standards are more specific and able to be measured. Therefore, the framework was the foundation for the creation of the standards that are the basis for instruction related to computer science. Following the release of the K-12 Computer Science Framework, the Computer Science Teachers Association revised their computer science standards. The framework consists of discrete statements of what students know or do. Standards are built from the framework statements and consist of what students know and do. The standards developed by the Computer Science Teachers Association align to the framework and define measurable learning from kindergarten to grade 12. Schools and districts are responsible for developing the curriculum, which is how the standards will be taught. The framework consists of concepts and practices. The concepts are high-level expectations of what students should understand. The practices describe the way that this should be done. Together, defining what students should know and be able to do results in standards that are independent, specific, and measurable. The revised standards released by the Computer Science Teachers Association in 2017 aligned to the framework statements, are based on a progression of learning, and provide a foundation for the study of computer science. On June 6, 2018, the Connecticut State Board of Education adopted these standards as the basis for computer science education in the state. Districts can now use these adopted standards to write computer science curriculum. The Computer Science Teachers Association Computer Science Standards identify measurable student performance expectations by grade band. The expectations contained in the K2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9, 10 grade bands are intended for all students to ensure a comprehensive computer science education. The 11, 12 grade band is for students who are looking to pursue further study in computer science or related fields. Within the standards, there are seven practices and five concepts that were in the framework, and there are 16 identified subconcepts. To recap what has been discussed so far, the framework is a high-level conceptual guide. It should not be confused with standards. Standards are specific, measurable performance expectations and should not be confused with curriculum. Curriculum is what and how to teach the standards. Curriculum that addresses the standards that have been adopted by the state is determined at the local level. Since the standards are identified by grade band as opposed to a specific grade, districts have a great deal of flexibility in how they choose to implement the standards in their schools. In order to assist districts in determining an implementation plan, the Connecticut State Board of Education adopted the Connecticut Computer Science Implementation Guidelines in partnership with the adoption of the standards. This document was created by a diverse group of stakeholders. It not only provides some background and information relative to the discipline of computer science, it also provides a detailed description of the practices and standards organization as well as various models and resources to support implementation. There are a variety of pathways that districts can use when implementing computer science, and it depends in large part by the level of exposure to computer science the district is striving for. Districts that are newly implementing a computer science curriculum may first have basic exposure to the content while they develop teacher capacity and a long-term computer science plan. Others may choose to have a deep exposure to computer science, and others may fall somewhere in between. Regardless of the path that is chosen by the district, computer science should be for all students. Finding time for computer science in an already busy school day can be a challenge. At the elementary and middle school level, time for computer science can be found by creating a course that specifically teaches computer science during a set time in the day or week similar to art or music. 
Another option at the elementary and secondary level is to embed computer science into the already existing curriculums. There are a variety of resources for computer science that align to the Connecticut Core Standards as well as the Next Generation Science Standards. At these levels, 20 hours of yearly instruction is recommended. Lastly, computer science instruction does not require any specific hardware or software. There are lessons that are both plugged, meaning utilizing technology, and unplugged, which do not, that still address the standards and teach the fundamental concepts of computer science. At the high school level, computer science education is most easily achieved by offering standalone courses. Establishing a pathway of courses instead of just a singular computer science course is recommended as this will be the best way to prepare and encourage students to take AP level computer science courses. Based upon the new graduation requirements that begin with the class of 2023, computer science courses could count towards the nine credits in science, technology, engineering, and math, depending upon local policy. Computer science has come a long way in a relatively short amount of time in Connecticut. Code.org collects data relative to nine different state criteria. When we look at Connecticut, we have completed three of the nine, including having a dedicated computer science position at the State Department, adopting standards, and allowing computer science to count as a core graduation requirement. Three additional items are well underway. A basic state plan has been developed, but more time needs to be spent on determining timelines and indicators of success. An internal work group has submitted recommendations around certification, and further work in this area is on the horizon. Finally, some of our institutes of higher education are beginning to take a close look at computer science in terms of teacher prep and professional learning. Given the local nature of our educational structure, we may never complete all nine, but in a short time, we have made some headway. Additional information about computer science is available on the computer science page of the Connecticut State Department of Education website. In addition, a listserv has been created to keep the field up to date on opportunities for teachers and students related to computer science. Finally, there is an active chapter of the Computer Science Teachers Association in Connecticut, and you are encouraged to visit their website for a variety of useful information for implementation. Thank you for your time, and if you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me directly by phone or email.